Hello and welcome to Weekly News Highlights with me, Hasina Mumtaz. Thank you for joining me. Here are your top stories this week. BNP chief and leader of the opposition, Khalid Azir, has ruled out elections with the ruling party in power. Addressing the 18-party alliance's Friday rally at Shahrawardi Wadiyan, Khalid Azir said there will be no election in Bangladesh with Sheikh Hasina in power. Khalid said that the BNP's formula of an even-handed and randomly represented caretaker should be accepted by the government. From October 27th, this government will become illegal. So in the next few days, you can start negotiations on establishing a neutral caretaker government. But if that does not happen, the government will be responsible for the consequences, said Khalida. She also announced a nationwide 60-hour shutdown from 6 a.m. on the 27th of October to 6 p.m. on the 29th of October to back its demand for a caretaker system. But if the government comes up with positive proposals for dialogue, we will hold negotiations and continue the movement on the streets as well, Khalida said. Both movement and negotiations can go on simultaneously. Khalida said the election must be held under a non-party government. Our formula will have to be accepted. I have given two days in order to hold dialogues on election time government, she said. In a direct reference to the Prime Minister, if you don't take initiatives to hold dialogues, Khalida stopped midway through the sentence, letting the opposition activists sitting in the front row to pick up the queue. Hortal, they chanted. The leader of the opposition said, we are announcing a preliminary programme. Hortal will be observed countrywide from 6am on October 27th to 6pm on October 29th. <laughs> Bangladesh has passed an anxious day with the BNP and the Awami League taking an inflexible stand on the formation of the interim government to oversee the next parliamentary election. A few casualties were reported from the districts. Although in the capital, Dhaka, it was relatively calm. The BNP-led 18-party alliance announced at its Friday rally that it would enforce a three-day general strike if the government did not concede to its demand for a non-party caretaker government to oversee the elections. It set a two-day deadline for the government to initiate dialogue with the opposition or face the shutdown, putting people on the edge yet again. Friday being a weekly holiday, not many people are usually seen on the streets, but the city this Friday looked unusually deserted, a forlorn look accepted by a nagging drizzle. Everyone had the eyes on the BNP-led 18-party alliance rally at Shurwawardi Udiyan on Friday afternoon. Apart from Dhaka, the BNP-led 18-party alliance on Friday held rallies in several districts including Chittagong, Rajshahi and Kulna after police and local administrations gave conditional permission to do so. Clashes took place in many places including Chakaria, Chandpur and Nilfamari. Six people were killed in those areas during clashes with law enforcers. Two BNP protesters died in clashes with BGB troops at Chakaria Upazila in Cox Bazar when opposition supporters took part in a demonstration on Friday. Chakaria police identified the deceased as joint convener of Chakaria unit of Shesha Shabakdol, Saiful Islam Badsha, age 28, and Jatya Badi Chatradol activist Muhammad Mizan, aged only 18. Three activists of the BNP's youth affiliate, the Jatya Tabadi Jubadol, were killed in clashes with Awami League supporters and police at Farijgand Upajila in Chandpur. They were identified as Jubadol activists Arif Hussain, age 23, Jahangir Hussain, 30, and Babul Hussain, 30, all from the same Upazila. An Islamic Chhatra Shibir activist, Muslimuddin, age 32, died when Jamaat e Islami and BNP supporters clashed with police and rub in Joldaka Upazila in Nilfamari. Around 100 others, including policemen and journalists, were injured in the running battles and clashes in Chandpur and Nilfamari. Meanwhile, clashes also rocked several other districts, leaving over 100 people injured. At least 50, including policemen, were injured when supporters of the Awami League and BMP clashed in Kumila's Manawarganj. Another clash between opposition and ruling party activists in Brahma Barriers, Kasba, left at least 10 people wounded. In Gai Bandha's Sadalpur Upazila, a handmade bomb exploded in front of the local Awami League unit office around 7.30 p.m. Running battles took place between activists of the BNP and Bangladesh Chhatra League at Shirpur in Ghazipur earlier in the day. 
Clashes between police, supporters of Chhatra Dal and Chhatra League at Lan Monirhat's Hathi Banda left five, including two policemen injured. BMP supporters from a demonstration exploded crude bombs at Magura town. At least 15 leaders and activists from both ruling and opposition parties were injured when they clashed at Barhata in Netrakona. Opposition supporters from a demonstration reportedly hurled crude bombs at police at Ishwardi in Pabna. Eight others in Panchagor and 23 more in Rangamati were also injured in clashes. At least 50 people, including 20 policemen, were wounded during a clash between police, supporters of ruling and opposition parties at Majdi in Nuakhali. Another 20, including seven law enforcers, were injured in a clash between police and activists of Jamaat and BNP at Barab Kunda Union in Sitakunda. The Awami League has urged BNP Chairperson Khalid Azir to withdraw her call for a 60-hour strike from the 27th of October and prepare for the forthcoming national election instead. The party feels her remarks at the 18-party alliance's Friday rally in Dhaka's Shurwa Wardi Wudyan were illogical, inert and aggressive. After her address, Awami League Presidium member Mohammed Nassim said, We had hoped the opposition leader will say something responsible, but her speech has made the nation concerned. Khalid Azir has announced a nationwide 60-hour shutdown from 6 a.m. on October 27th to 6 p.m. on October 29th if the government does not start dialogue on the Pulse Time government in the next two days. But if the government comes up with positive proposals for a dialogue in the next two days, we'll continue the negotiations but also continue the movement on the street, she said. The BNP-led 18-party alliance leaders of Chittagong have called the Sheikh Hasina government illegal. At a rally at Kazidderi intersection in Chittagong on Friday, they also announced that the government would be buried on the 7th of November, the National Revolution and Solidarity Day. The government under Sheikh Hasina is not falling, it has already fallen, observed Chittagong City BMP President Amir Khosru Mahmoud Chowdhury. He said in a veiled threat, they will remain in the cold storage before burial. The BMP leader said the 18-party alliance would get their votes through non-party government. We want to assure them that the BNP will not go for any politics of violence, said Hosru. We want to move forward together. BNP Central Vice Chairman Abdullah al Noman said, We won't accept any election under Sheikh Hasina. Our mass movement has turned into a mass uprising. He said that the mass uprising would not accept any law dictated by Prime Minister Hasina. The former Commerce Minister vowed to stick to their demand for a restoration of a caretaker government system. সমগ্র দেশের মানুষ 140 ধারা ভেঙে রাস্তায় নেমে এসেছে বন্ধুগণ গণপুত্তলের মত এই এই সরকারের পতন ঘটাতে হবে the opposition BNP says the party is determined to hold its scheduled rally at Dhaka's Nayapultan on Friday. The party's Joint Secretary-General, Ruhul Kabir Rizvi, told reporters on Thursday that the BNP would exercise its right to political activity at all costs. Organising rallies and meetings is a right no political party can be denied in a democracy. We are determined to exercise our right without fear, Rizvi said. He said BNP Chairperson Khalid Azir will address the rally as chief guest. Our plans for the rally remain unchanged. But police say that the ban imposed on holding rallies and meetings last Monday remains in force. Dhaka Metropolitan Police spokesperson Masudur Rahman made it clear that the ban imposed on Monday remains in force. Those are your top stories for this week. Thank you for watching and do join me again at the same time next week. Allah Hafiz.